Hi everybody, it's Diane. Look at this. I did all of these books in one week. I am trying to use up some of my supplies, papers and book covers that I have and, and all the bits and pieces that I just showed from my binders, trying to get some of that um, used up so I don't have so much stuff in my room. And uh, I thought, well, might as well get it put into books and use it instead of having it just sit in boxes in my room. So I'm going to start with this one, I think. Um, a old book for the cover. Uh, have one inch binded all rings. And then on this one, I put a copper book plate and then some pe Cricut pieces that I had in my binder. <clears throat> now, it's really handy to have these pieces already cut out in my binder because like I said I don't want to stop my project just to go cut things out and I probably wouldn't say well I want to cut this image out or that image out to use on this but when I see them in my binder already done and I think oh they're perfect so I pull them out and use them so it's really handy to have it done that way um, so here's the inside oh this they don't show up very well they look like hinges but they're made with the Cricut and it's with craft paper. You can see them better on the inside. And then this envelope was made with my Cricut and I put some pieces, tags, and cut out pieces inside the envelope so the person who owns this book can use those pieces. Uh, I make these books to sell so a lot of people won't know what to do with them. So I made this on my computer and I cut it with the bind it all. I punch it with the bind it all and then cut little slits so that you can just poke it in to the book so it's so it's stuck in there and then you just pull it out when you don't want it. But here's what it says. How to use this book. Use the pages, cards and tags to journal and attach photos, ticket stubs and other memorabilia. Use the pockets and envelopes to save any tidbit you like. Treasure your memories. Glue, tape, staple, paper clip, write. Add your own envelopes and pockets. Enjoy it. And then a list of ideas to use it for photos, journaling, autographs, recipes, a book about you, baby book, wedding book, scrapbook, quotes, school days, idea book, plans and goals, fitness, vacation or trip journal, family ancestry, dreams and inspiration, friendship book, a fun book to stick things in, anything you want. And then at the bottom it says this page may be removed so that they know they can pull it right out. And then this was a set of Stampin' Up! papers that someone had given to me. So I decided to start using them in here. It was a friend of mine who did scrapbook crafts and she decided she didn't have time for it anymore. So she gave me a lot of her supplies. Yay! So there's one page and I glued that uh, journaling card on it. Uh, made a pocket out of this scrap, made this giant tag with the Cricut. This was from the pic picturesque cartridge. That is an awesome cartridge because it has all these um, different tags, design tags. Put a photo mat on that page. This one is uh, just a card that I had embossed with my Big Shot. And I put a metal tab on it and then that piece from the internet I glued to the back. I did. St I stamped on that page on the blank side. Put some cards in. This is a book, a page from a Dr. Seuss dictionary, and it's actually French. It has the English words, and then the low or the <laughs> says low hill there, then the French words. And I just glued on some little journaling spots. That way, it gives people the idea that they can glue whatever they want to on the pages. They don't have to preserve all the pictures on every page. They can cover things up, do anything they want with the book. This one has some washi tape and a journaling tag. This is old Stampin' Up! paper. This one is a piece of Stampin' Up! piece that was a cutout, punch out, and it had these little holes in it, so I made a tag. The tag fits in there perfectly, and I just stamped these small images on the tag, and then put a piece of the Tim Holtz film strip on it. And then this one I just put in some tags. This tag was just a shipping tag and I cut a piece of uh, children's atlas book to fit the back and then stamped on that side. This was in a set of various tags that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. 
And this is a Seven Gypsies tag. And I cut this, this page says I love you and it has words about love so I cut it out in the shape of a heart and stitched it to this little shipping tag. Put some graph paper on the back. These were white pages so I stamped on them. Made a pocket here and included some journaling and glued some journaling cards on here. These are six by six um, scrapbook pages I had. Edge punched that one and just stuck this piece of paper on. It says, today I need to blank and blank ahead of schedule right on and then decorated it with washi tape all around. This one, I printed this graph or ledger from the internet and glued on some pink notebook paper and put some washi tape on it. Here's one of my arrows that came out of my binder, cut from the Cricut. Some leftover Prima ledger paper, I rounded the corners and then I stapled some Tim Holtz Adage tickets on the corners of the pages. Um, this is a, I forgot her name, flashcard type of thing and I glued it on as a pocket, stuck that in there, glued that journaling spot and then stamped these images on. Anyone who says sunshine brings happiness has never danced in the rain. I stitched this on as a pocket. Uh, this is from Basic Gray. It came on a little tablet just this size. I didn't cut it. And this is a 6x6 card from We Are Memory Keepers. I glued this journaling or ledger spot on this. These are old um, Stampin' Up! papers. And I just glued on some journaling tags and put another pocket here that was made with the Cricut and a tag that fits it on the back. So there's one of my books that I made and I'll be back to show you another one.